Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the Daily Dose in the Spiritual Bible. With me, Bible Day. Now, the last lesson that we learned, talking about the tribe of Cain. Cain and the Cursed, I was called. Because in the best they know. But <clears throat> me and my daughter. We're talking as we're entering into Black History Month, and um, I wanted her to understand something, and so I asked this question that I'm getting ready to pose to you. When Noah landed the ark, He had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japan. Japheth, father of the Caucasian race, Ham, Father of the Black Race and Shem, Father of the Jewish Race. Now, as these sons, you know, um, of course they brought their wives with them. The Bible doesn't really get into their wives. But each of these men were. Three different complexions. Shem was an olive tone. Ham, of course, was black. And Japheth was pale or Caucasian. Now, they all lived together in the land of Shinar, where the land Tower of Babel existed. You know. I told my daughter that Rachel would have had to been a white woman or fair complexion. For Rachel gave birth to three sons of three different complexions. Now, when they um, when the Tower of Babel began to be fruitful and multiply, okay. Built the Tower of Babel, languages got confused, they shifted them all over. That's where everybody mixed up now. But I have one question to ask, and that was this I have Shem. What is Ham Shem? In Japan. What are Ham, Shem, and Japan? So we did the Japanese music, you know, and we pondered it, and she said, um, she couldn't really think about it. Couldn't really figure that one out. I asked her, I said, it's so easy, it's complicated. I said, what are you and your sister? And you know, I call her sister's name. And she says, that's my sister. That's okay. So, what is Ham, Shem, and Japheth? And she smacked herself in the head. She said, they're brothers. I said, yes. Yes. They're brothers. 
And then being brothers, you know what else? This was really blew my mind. They all have the same bloodline. At the root basis of every single walking person on the earth. At the root, everyone is African. Everyone has African blood in their systems because the first man came out of Africa in the land of Ethiopia garden so that means that there was only one race of man there was only one race the human race that's why it does not matter what race people are when they talk about this, you know, this race is better than that race. You're all related. They're your brothers. Japheth. Islam. Shem. All of them came from Noah. The father. That's some food for my fucking thought. Check that shit out. Okay. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's what happens when you get too much time by yourself. The spirits start working on this. I put stuff in your head and stuff. I can think about things. Talking to you and showing you stuff. And you in here like, oh my god, I never thought of it this way. We're going to get back into the study on Canaan and blacks in the Bible. And we're going to pick up where we left off at the last time we were studying. And we were talking about the curse of Canaan. And the fact that... Um, He had molested no one. But Canaan, that was not the only thing that Canaan was known for. Canaan acknowledged what he did in cursing a whole tribe of people. I'm going to talk a little bit about repercussions of a false blame in America. Repercussions of false blame. For people of color, tribe. Okay, here we go. During the days of slavery in America, the mass, the vast majority of people, regardless of color, were illiterate and they rely on their clergy to read and interpret scriptures for them. From the mouths of the clergymen, they accepted as truths the myths of all descendants of Ham were cursed. Even today, essays and sermons from preachers bearing false witness against Ham as the one who was cursed 
Such propaganda was used during the days of the American slavery to justify the enslavement of anyone with color skin. So, if you were in color, if you were of color, that was their justification for making you a slave. Just the fact that you were black or brown. It bears repeating that every account in scriptures gives Ham was never cursed. God's curse involves skin color. He never, God's curses never involve skin color. And when they did, it was taking the color away from their skin, not adding it to. Many contemporary Eurocentric commentaries continue to bear the false witness that it was Ham who was cursed. The passage reads clearly, Cursed be Canaan. But, In America, racism was the law of the land. The majority of black people were enslaved. It was the law of the land. They were called demeaning names and de denied humanity truth. And it just blows my mind every time I read that and every time I see that, especially knowing that Ham, Shem, and Japheth were brothers. And Japheth did that to his brother Ham. That's how I look at it. The tribe of Japheth tormented the tribe of Ham in the Americas. They went and they got them from the Africans, brought them to the Americas to enslave them. In the biography, Harriet Tubman, The Moses of Her People, written by Sarah Bradford, the author relates how Mrs. Tubman's trust in Jesus Christ assisted her in freeing people of color. See, so we have always been the black believer. We've always somewhere or another know who Jesus was and know that things weren't right. You know? This account never slave narratives such as Sojourner Truth show that the Afri African American slaves called on the same God of Shem. We delivered the Jews. I don't know 
So the tribe of Japheth has enslaved both his brothers. Yeah. Because when you look at the Holocaust, Hitler was from the tribe of Japheth. Slavery of Ham. Tribe of Japheth with the Puritans and the Colonial Colonials. They were all tribe of Japheth. I'm going to go right now. What I will do is say, Lord bless me, help me. Keep an open mind and remember. This is history. It's to improve who you are. Teach you what not to do. And aid you in your steps forward. So, I'm going to sit back and meditate on what I just learned. You won't meditate on what you just learned. Because I have to detach myself every so often from this. Because this type of study is always left marks on me every time I've done it. So, I have to pray about it when I finish you know, going through these things. So, I'm going to let y'all go. So that I can pray so that negative energy does not fester in my heart because of my human frailties pertaining to this subject matter. You all pray. Keep this thing 100. Because I ain't going to lie to you. They bring feelings up in me. As a tribe of hand. Looking at the tribe of your path. I ain't going to lie. Okay. And that's why I need to. Go pray. Meditate. Pull me back together. Have a little talk with Jesus. Okay. And I suggest you all do the same. You all be blessed today. And you walk in your light. And know that Jesus the Christ can do all things except fail. Okay. So be blessed, my beloved. Until it's time for your next daily dose of the spiritual vitamin. With me. The mind in me. Okay. So this is you guys. Love you.